We are back for a, another video. I would say this is a B-level intermediate English video, hopefully a natural conversation between myself, Camille, and... Oh, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> this is unscripted, so, but whatever. Let's get started, you guys. This video is about American culture. So a lot of people are interested in American culture and their idea of American culture comes probably from films and series, I would say TV. Yeah. If you want to learn real life English dialogues, be sure to check out my 31 day workshop. And I think a lot of the films are filmed in like Los Angeles, New York City. Yeah. Maybe Chicago. Yeah. When people think about visiting the U.S., they think, oh, I want to go to those big cities. I want to visit New York, Miami, Las Vegas, L.A. But America is huge and has a lot of different cultures, even within the country. Like if you went to Hawaii or Alaska, South Carolina, New York, like the Midwest, you would find different accents, so different. foods, like culture. So we don't know what's going to come out in this video, what we're going to say, but we'll tell you from our experience. You were born in Washington State, I not was... Washington, D.C., which is the capital. They're very far from each other. Yes. And I was born in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, but we both spent a lot of time in South Carolina, which is where we met. Yes. At Dunkin' Donuts. True story. Dunkin' Donuts love you. <laughs> So I think, what are some of the stereotypes about the U.S.? Coming from Americans, like coming from us? Uh, either. Yeah. Coming from us. Are things that we've heard? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> America is very patriotic, which... That's true. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag. flag of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, everybody, every student in school has to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. At least I think we still do it, right? I Mannix knows it. Yeah, they still do it in, in most schools. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we yeah. do the Pledge of Allegiance. Fourth of July is yes. one of the biggest holidays in America. Mm -hmm. Fireworks, barbecue. Pool you, party. Pool party. You wear the stripes and stars. Red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people hang the American flag on their porch, their front mm -hmm. porch. It's out on their lawn. You'll see a lot of flags. So America is pretty patriotic. Unless you're in the South, you might see some rebel flags, but that's a whole nother story. That's true. I think as well, um, I'm looking at my notes. Oh, sports. So Americans love sports. And one of our yes. biggest sports is football. And mm -hmm. I'm not talking about soccer. I'm talking about American, American football. football. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can share more. I mean, you went to Clemson University, which was a pretty big football school. Yeah, I would say in some places, even high school football is huge. Like Texas, you have just crowds going to these high school football games. Yeah. And then you go to college and it's almost on the level of professional football. Yeah. And then you go to the professional football and it's like huge, massive stadiums with tons yeah. and tons of people. Yeah. And yeah, they're watching the, the old pigskin, you know, being thrown around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even like Thanksgiving. I mean, we have a lot of holidays. Thanksgiving is in November and most people watch mm -hmm. football. There's a big game on yeah. Thanksgiving Day. So after you eat way too much food. You'll either go out and play football in the yard or you'll watch football on TV as a tradition. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. I think uh, that always reminds me of the Friends episode. Yes. I'm sure if you've watched Friends, uh, you know the episode where they're playing <laughs> football. <laughs> yes. That is actually a pretty accurate picture, I think, of American culture. Yeah. 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 Uh, people, a lot of people think about guns with America. That's true. Yeah. I, I don't know if I should say, but yeah, I come from a gun family. <laughs> I have never owned a gun. I mean, you have to have a specific license even for hunting animals. Like my dad always hunted growing up, so he would shoot deer. I am mm -hmm. also a vegetarian, so <laughs> I'm like not really on that page with guns and stuff. We've never owned guns, but 
a lot of people we know own guns. They're very proud of it. They think it's one of our, well, it is one of our rights, I guess, as an American citizen. Yeah, I think it's the Second Amendment. Yes. The right to bear arms. I grew up with guns as well. We have a lot of guns. We had a lot of guns, I guess, not here in Portugal. Uh, and I actually even hunted animals. And so, yeah, there's, there's kind of a leisure gun culture in America mm -hmm. where you go shoot cans, you go shoot targets, uh, or you go shoot animals like deer, elk, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, squirrels, yeah. birds. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, the, the gun culture is pretty big there. Uh, I think there's some uh, unspoken sort of advantages to it because uh, most of the talk about guns is always negative and there is definitely that reality too the easy access to guns and the sort of violent culture mm -hmm. um so yeah but that's a whole nother video that we won't go down yeah, today we'll never make that video probably no <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so also i think when you think about american culture maybe you think about university life i don't know maybe not because most people do go to college and something that is different about the u.s is that we leave our families when we're young so i left home right after high school when i was 17 and i married calvin at 18 which that is not as common now but no. people do get married younger have babies younger and they become more independent younger like you're on your own at 18. <laughs> Yeah, basically like we're kicking you out, you know, go try and live on your own and, and create your own life, essentially, which kind of is, you know, the, the spirit of America. Cairo, you can't be in here playing with that stuff, buddy. Okay. We love you. The reality of shooting with kids. Yeah. So yeah, America came out of like leaving countries, you know, everybody are, or many people are immigrants, unless mm -hmm. you're a Native American. And so there's this kind of spirit of like, <clears throat> I can do this on my own, you know, mm -hmm. this independent spirit. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it kind of is, yeah, an extension of that going out when you're 18, going to university, trying to find out what you're going to do for the rest of your life. Is the American dream still possible, Camille? Ooh, the American dream. I mean, what is the American dream? Because a lot of people are shocked when they find out I'm American, but I'm not living in the U.S. They don't understand it. In their mind, the American dream is still possible. If the American dream means opportunities, I think yes. I think America has a lot of opportunities to offer. Mm -hmm. um, what is the American dream, though? I think the American dream was that you could come to America or if you are already in America and move up into a, a more higher class, more quality of life living. And in other countries, this wasn't necessarily possible. So mm -hmm. if you were poor, you would always be poor, you okay. know. And so what America offered and maybe <laughs> still offers is this idea that we can, it, with enough hard work, you can be successful, you can improve your quality of life. And I mean, personally, I think it does still exist, but uh, you know, as an immigrant, it can be hard. It just depends on, on so many factors, luck or uh, where you live, uh, where you're coming from all those things factor into it. But mm -hmm. if you want to take the risk, go for it. <laughs> I guess, you know, like, yeah. you only have this one life. Yeah. You know, for do us. it legally, of course. Yeah. I mean, for us, our dream isn't to live in America. I don't think. Our dream? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have an uh, international dream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, some funny things that I've heard people comment on, like, why do Americans wear shoes in the house? And it is true. I mean, he has slippers on. <laughs> These floors are freezing. But we usually do wear our shoes in the house. I mean, not every single American, but I think it's pretty common. We don't even think twice. We'll walk through our house with our shoes on. Yes. Another funny thing about our culture is this happens even with Calvin's parents. Sometimes people say goodbye without even saying goodbye. They just leave. You know, in some cultures, it takes forever to say goodbye in Turkish culture. You're like, 
just bye, bye. Like you say goodbye <laughs> for like five minutes. In American culture, we're just like, see ya. See ya. Like to a whole group of people, we don't go individually, kiss their cheeks or anything like that. We're just like, okay, guys, I'm leaving. Bye. Maybe so, a high five, maybe yeah. a hug, but that's it. Yeah. Or like I said, some people leave without saying anything. And then you're like, hey, where'd they go? You just hear the door slam. <laughs> they left. Like, yeah. What happened? <laughs> it doesn't mean something's bad or they didn't like their visit. It's just part of the culture. It's maybe different, but mm -hmm. it is what it is. A lot of people I've talked to, uh, especially coming from uh, Muslim backgrounds or Muslim countries, they associate America with Christianity. Like everything that America produces because it's a Christian nation represents Christianity. And this is obviously not true, um, but it's just kind of one of those interesting things that happens. And I'm, I'm constantly correcting people saying, no, America, maybe there was some Christian values that were um, that America was founded on. But it has shifted so much over the 300 years of existence to be more, much more of a secular country. Uh, you can find it. A lot of Christians still in America, I would say it is the majority faith, but uh, culture wise was coming out of Hollywood does not represent Christianity. So also something about American culture is I would say the majority of Americans don't maybe know geography so well, <laughs> or <laughs> I feel bad saying that. Or also like most, this obviously isn't everyone, but most people don't learn other languages as well. So those are a couple things that are true, probably because English is a universal language. They don't have to learn. It's not enforced in the school system. And so a lot of people don't know where a lot of countries are or much about language learning. If you look at America geographically, you have Canada to the north, which they speak English and French. Uh, but mostly English. And then you have like Mexico to the south. And, you know, those countries, it's not like Americans are going there to to like get a better life or to learn Spanish, you know, mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, the need is not like Europe where you're by France, you're talking, you know, like Italian, you have Spanish, you have Portuguese, English, yeah. German, you know, Dutch, all these different languages in, in basically the size of half of the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a huge country mm -hmm. and all of us speak English, you know? So yeah. why do we need to speak any other language, I guess, would be the sort of reasoning. However... <laughs> we encourage everyone to learn a language. <laughs> exactly. We love languages and we think geography is important. Language uh, helps you connect with cultures mm -hmm. and helps you understand people. Yeah. And honestly breaks down our own preconceived ideas. Like you right now listening to us talk about America, you're learning. Uh, and maybe there's new things that will shift how you view America and Americans because of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, it's hard to think about culture and not talk about food I would say that in the South, there's some specialties with food, you know, shrimp and grits and okra and sweet tea. And there's like a food culture that comes from the South. As far as the rest of the nation, I don't know what the food culture is. Yeah, I think there's certain uh, dishes or like sandwiches okay. or certain things in different regions like Chicago's known for, I think, like deep dish pizza. True. And like, isn't, is it New York or is it the Philly cheesesteaks? Oh, Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm just Philly shooting cheese. off the top of my head. Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah. Like a sandwich with like beef, I think, and cheese. Never <laughs> tried it. I don't eat meat. <laughs> I've had it and it's good. Okay. Um, yeah. So each region uh, has their own specialties. I think barbecue. Oh. That's true. You know, the American barbecue is very distinct. Mm -hmm. Like if you compare it with like uh, Brazilian barbecue or Argentinian barbecue, yeah. like it can be more simple in a way, but mm -hmm. you know, a lot more burgers and mm -hmm. hot dogs. Mm -hmm. But 
also you can do ribs or, you know, there's a number of things. And we're very thankful for the other cultures that have come in and opened up restaurants and exposed us to different types of food from all around the world. Like we love Thai food, Indian food, Japanese food. Uh, We love so many different types of food because of restaurants that have come into the United States and given us the opportunity to experience them. Yeah, I would say that is one of the beauties of America is that it is a melting pot. You can find almost any culture there, any country represented there. And we get to try the foods, which is our favorite thing. Yes, we're foodies. We love to eat. Thank you for your food, people. (laughs) I think even though there's more things that we could cover, I think we covered a lot. I think this video could be getting a little long. So we're going to go ahead and end this video. Let us know if you are still curious about things. Maybe you have a stereotype and you want to know and we'll try to answer in the comments. Thank you, guys. Or do a part two video. That's true. We could do that as well. Let us know what you guys want. If you want to hear more about American culture, we always love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.